Uh, welcome back. I'm Maris. This is Gamer Quest. Welcome. We're gonna do another first look. This is an exciting game. If anybody who knows who's known me for a long time or since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an archaeologist and paleontologist. I should have, you know, should have followed my dream in hindsight. But I love archaeology games. Paleo. I love dinosaurs. If I haven't said that a million times before, like archaeology and paleontology are like my loves. So we're going to look at a game called Archaeology X, and I believe it's like an open world archaeology game where um, the setting, I believe, is in Cairo, Egypt, which is fine. So it's going to be an open map where we're going to go and dig up stuff and find stuff, and that's pretty freaking awesome. I do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of the game to check out. I do appreciate it, and let's get into it. I, um... I'm excited to see... Your name is Carter. You're an archaeologist. Your life is researching ancient empires like Egypt, their history. You're commissioned to travel to these exotic locations, find amazing treasures, spend many hours gathering your research. Pack your bags, get ready to go. Oh, and don't forget your hat. Ooh, yeah. That was too fast for me to read. Okay. Okay. We're going to play. I guess I could pick male or female. I'm just going to stick with being male since that's easy. So let's load. This may probably take a bit because I believe it is going to load a whole map in. Because like I said, it is listed as being open world. So I'm going to give it a minute to load up. I'm really interested to see how this is this is done. Like, uh, do I get a map? Or, like, am I going to be, like... Traditionally speaking, when you do, like, archaeological excavations and things like that, some of the things you'll be doing is putting down a grid so you can map the grid out, and then you'll actually draw where everything is by hand. They do it underwater as well. Um, you'll take scans of the areas and things like that. So I wonder if it's going to be to that extent... Or if I'm just, like, finding stuff, digging it up, and being like, Oh my god, treasure! Gloomy Streams, thank you so much for the host. And Zelpox, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Alright, do I move? It's hot at her. Good job. I found some health. Ah, my trusty whore. Oh. Okay, what am I doing? So what is... Good job, I found some food. Oh, don't... No, no. Get away. Where's my notebook? Do I have a notebook? Okay. And for notebook? Okay. Controls are a little wonky, but... Oh, can I go in here? No. You can only sleep at night. Okay. Alright, my trusty horse. Okay, E to get on the horse. Alright, so let's... Let's find what looks like a good place to dig. How about we go off the beaten trail here? I'm on some dude... Oh! 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 oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, alright. Let us... Let's get you down. Okay, can we scroll? Oh, we can scroll. Oh, we can scroll out. Look at that. <gasps> what is that over there, too? Okay. Do I... I just... I guess I dig. Do I just dig? <gasps> I just dig. I just dig. Oh, my God. Dig! Give me all the loot! I will own everything! If you just click super fast, he's, he's like a... Whoop, whoop. Yeah, let's not screw that up. Let's not take a too too gun ho here. Alright, so let's... 
Let's get the outside first here. I wonder if I can upgrade my, uh, shell. Listen to me, I'm already like, I need more! I need to shovel more! Oh! Alright, I just clipped in. Going a little too gung-ho. Well, that actually works out for me, because now I don't have to find a door to get into this thing. Somebody's trying to call me. And the number's listed as unknown. Yeah, right, like, I'm gonna pick that up. <laughs> I want to pick up phone calls from my family. You need to text me. Remind someone who doesn't have their phone phone number listed. Is that a... Can I... Oh, I can turn! So it looks like we have just a low foundation, maybe? This might not be a complete, completely covered building. But how do... It, Where's the doorway out of it? Oh, maybe I can just walk over the sides. Maybe that's the... That's actually an option here. Yeah, it looks like I could just pop over the sides. Hmm. You know, it looks like it's just a base, base foundation. Hey, at least it's something, right? Can we go down further? We can. I wonder if... Ouch, that drop was high. Well, like... Don't fall! <laughs> My health is at 183% instead of 188. How dare you. Okay, here's some doorways we can go through. This thing's deep! Man. Oh, nice. You can just hold the mouse down and he'll just keep digging in the direction. That's very handy. Oops. Um, ha let me... Oh, dude, I didn't want you to clip in. A little bit of clipping problems. Can I jump? No. Oh, he can jump. Is that the character talking? How oh, very, very odd. What kind of building have I found? Oh. I'll keep scrolled out here. Maybe that's not gonna work. Ooh, camera's a little wonky. This is a brand new release, though. This only came out yesterday, so... Uh, or I should say it's available on Steam as of yesterday, so... And obviously, as we know, there's, a. Uh, Everybody's computer setups are different, so little little things like this can happen. I really want to find some relics. Like, I'm interested to see if we're going to get anything when we get to the bottom of this thing. Wait, what happened to my horse? Oh, my horse is laying down. Okay. Is my horse okay? Can I jump? Can you, can you get up? Okay. 
Is my horse okay, horsey? Okay, okay. I really thought my horse was dead for a second. I was gonna be like, no. Alright, let's put him... Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. I wonder... Oh god, that looked like I just broke my horse's leg. Uh-oh. Okay. A little bit of a sandstorm. There was a... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Alright. Oh, shoot. Okay. A little buggy here and there. Definitely an issue with the sandstorm. Again, though, this is a new release. I'm pretty sure it came out the 26th, which was yesterday. So, everybody's things are different. So, there's always the possibility of a little hitching and things like that. I'm going to put my horse under here. Alright, so let me... Can I run? Oh, I can run. You hold shift and run. Glorious. Glorious. Alright, let's get back to my excavation here. Let me... It's definitely a larger building than what I expected. Video's a little choppy. Um... Sorry, that, that's actually on our end. We were... Grimbone was adjusting something, so... Okay. Oops, I'm in the sand. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely say some adjustments have to be made. Nothing so far that's, like, horribly game-breaking. I understand the spinning if I'm putting the mouse to, to below my guy. I, I get that. Oh, did I just find a doorway? Oh, well, hold on a minute. Can I even go in here? Boop. Getting the outside of this, not the doorway. Actually, let's let's just go for a run real quick with my. Where's my horse? Where did I put my? There's my horse. It's like where is my horse? Wow! Look at the size of this map, though. Jeez. Alright. Oh, look. There's another ruin over there. Okay. Can I get on my horsey? It's E to get on the horse, right? I believe. There we go. I mean, there's certainly quite a map on here. Is this something big and hidden? Oh, there's another thing. So, I guess besides the archaeology, there's all these abandoned camps and everything, because it seems that when I've gone to them... B. It says to look in my journal, but J, N, and B don't open up... I did try and... I try and do J, N, and B, because sometimes it's B for, like, book...
No key bindings. I mean, it is it is seeming fairly fairly bare bones. Then again, I don't know if this was just a single developer that worked on this because this is a lot of work. You can see that, you know, this is not something that's small. So is no, that looks okay. Let's see if we can find something with like a head sticking out of it. I like the concept, though. I love, like, how often do you find archaeology games? I think the closest ones that um, have come out technically have been, like, Fossil Hunters, which is a paleontology game. It's not even, like, archaeology. It's paleontology. I, uh... I uh, definitely am happy to see. Can I get him to go faster? No. Ooh, what's this? There's something sticking out here. Does it look fishy? Let's find out, shall we? All right, let's find... Can we dig here? This is a question. No. Okay, I cannot dig there. Okay. What is that thing all the way down there, that big blue thing? I think that's my base camp. It's a pretty big map. These... Mm, I don't know. Alright, we'll go back. Yeah, that, that blue thing's my base camp. Alright, let me go back here. If I can get off my horse. Alright, where am I going? So I must have to finish this up, see if we get anything. The digging is time consuming, but digging would be time consuming in real life as well. So, I mean, excavations take months, sometimes, most of the times, years, depending on how big the site is. So, let me try to zoom in here so I can get it. I would say the controls definitely do need to be improved on. I do like the concept of the game, though. And I'm not necessarily mad at it. Again, though, I don't know how many devs actually worked on it. And game developing is not necessarily an easy thing to do. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm trying to Let's see if I could do it better from Woo! wonky cameras. Definitely need some optimization. Okay. Let's see. Find some treasures. I don't know if I'm going to find any treasures in this. It's definitely an ancient structure, that's for sure. I'm trying to keep on digging down. Need to find like an underground pyramid. Full of gold. My spinning, spinning. I do think the uh, developer is definitely going to have to patch a little bit. Again, not that that's a bad thing, though. Just came out yesterday. 
So everybody's PC is different. Everything runs differently. It's also why giving input, like on early access games and things like that, if you get into a beta test or an alpha or something like that, definitely give input. It helps so much. Let's see if we can just get the complete threshold of this out. Have fun, Sumquai. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Ay, ay, ay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I cleared this already. Oh, you know what? That sandstorm passed. I bet you the sandstorm put stuff back on your, uh, your stuff that you're excavating. That stinks. Let's, uh... That camera function is, uh, a little wonky, too. I can't clear this? Yes, I can. Am I stuck? Oh, there we go. I mean, I'm not going to... This is going to take me a long, long time uh, to dig this whole thing out. But obviously, we get the idea. Um, there is some work that does need to be done on it. Again, it is a new release. Um, so I expect that there would be a patch that would come out fairly soon. A couple things that I am seeing is the optimization. I'm getting snagging, hitching, stuff like that. Um, looks like my horse is on top of the... Yes, my horse is floating above the sand. Um, I'm actually flying. I'm on a flying horse. Oh, there he goes. Now he's down. Controls are a little wonky. Um, you have to turn with the A and D and then press forward. It, But it's it's odd. Like, you can't, you know just it feels weird definitely has day and night cycles it's just um i like the concept of the game it just needs a little bit more work uh fix the clipping uh the what was that the collision collision definitely does need to be looked at uh all in all though i mean there's there's definitely promise to this game there's definitely promise. I really do like the concept. I like where the person's coming from or the team was coming from on this. I think this is a game that hasn't been done per se. Like, you don't really see archaeology games. That's why I was so excited uh, to check this out. So, and I'm just giving constructive criticism. You know, I'm not, I'm not doing it to be derogatory or anything like that. Um, but I definitely think the collision should be fixed. Um, camera needs a little bit of work. Optimization's a big thing. I, in a game like this, once it's loading in, loaded in, you really shouldn't be getting too much hitching and things like that. And, like, you can see that there's hitching with the tumbleweeds, there's hitching with the sandstorms and things like that. So, it's not, it's not terrible, but it does interrupt the gameplay. And then the camera zooming in and out real fast when you're trying to dig. Like, those are all little, little tweaks. They're not entirely game breaking but they're just little tweaks here and there but that's really all I, I can complain about um, 
when digging is going to take a while i understand that i i like the concept of having to take time to dig everything out um you know being that you know i'm a little not necessarily limited on time but you know i i don't want to bore you guys with digging and digging and digging but what i can say just from seeing it is that if the issues that i said before get fixed definitely this could be a very fun game and if they add more into it more to dig up uh multiplayer doesn't necessarily need multiplayer but how cool would that be like there's little things but it's not terrible not i've seen worse and played worse what is this thing where did i get all these now i'm trying to dig my can i grab any of this stuff no at least i got a little base camp and everything but oh oh why am i stuck Okay. All right, let me get out of here. At least it's got a nice little... Let's save the game. Game has been successfully saved, so that's good. Just a few little things that need to be fixed with that. Again, it's not... The concept is there. It's definitely there. It's got everything in it. You've got a nice big map. You've got the idea already. It's just... The little, the little tweaks... And, and changes to things. Like I said, the optimization, that's going to aggravate a lot of people if they see that. Um, I don't necessarily get aggravated too much when you see like your optimization start going crazy and like you get hitching and things like that. I understand. I get it. Listen, crap happens. Not everything's perfect. You, you would rather not see it. But again, when a game comes out, especially a new re newly released game, everybody's PC is different everybody's everybody's different so you have to see how it plays on everything I could just be having a problem on my computer the two computers that are next to me here could not have any problems with it so again it's one of those little things not bad though I do want to thank the dev for giving me a copy of the game to check out I appreciate it hopefully um, if you see this you know like I said I'm not ripping the game apart I'm just giving a little constructive criticism on what I'm seeing initially because I like the concept of the game I'm excited for the concept so again thanks to the developer for giving me a copy of the game to check out I appreciate it if you're watching live don't go anywhere I will be right back if you're watching previously recorded on YouTube do like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you later bye Mwah.